Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to get into a very important update in the realm of jailbreaking. Apple released a new firmware this morning, iOS 9.0.2, so let's discuss it, what the firmware features, as well as how it plays into the next untethered jailbreak. <laughs> All right, so to get started, all right, so to get started and kick things off here, if you guys are interested in winning a brand new iPhone 6S, which of course was just released on the 25th, then all you have to do is rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions on how to enter. Also, toward the end, there will be a TLDR, or rather TLDW, too long didn't watch wrap up for those of you who aren't interested in all of the details that we're about to get into. So if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, there will be an annotation on your screens now that will allow you to click to skip ahead to that segment. Also, there will be a couple of other similar annotations for various portions of this video, including the one we're about to get into with iOS 9.0.2's changes. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's launch up the settings app and talk about iOS 9.0.2 as a firmware first. So as you can see here inside of the OTA update screen for iOS 9.0.2, it states that this update contains bug fixes and improvements, including fixes an issue with the setting to turn on or off app cellular data usage, resolves an issue that prevented iMessage activation for some users, resolves an issue where an iCloud backup could be interrupted after starting a manual backup, fixes an issue where the screen could incorrectly rotate when receiving notifications, and improves the stability of podcasts. It also gives a link toward the bottom for the security contents of this update. However, they're exactly the same as they were for iOS 9 and 9.0.1. Really, nothing's changed as far as that's concerned up until this point, iOS 9.0.2, and we're actually going to get into that right now. So should you update to iOS 9.0.2, Apple's latest firmware, especially since I know there are a few other bugs in iOS 9 in general that Apple has yet to address, even with this morning's latest release. So we can probably expect more iOS 9.0.x releases before Apple drops iOS 9.1 to the public. Well, that's a great question. Essentially, there are three different scenarios Scenarios. So, number one, if you're already on iOS 9, should you update to 9.0.2? Whether your originating firmware is 9.0 or 9.0.1? Well, the answer to that question is yes. Now, see, because iOS 9.0.2 doesn't really implement any new security changes over either of the past iOS 9 releases, you can update to the firmware knowing full well that when the next untethered jailbreak utility is released, you will be covered on iOS 9.0.2. Now, if you're already jailbroken, on iOS 8.4 or earlier, if you make the leap to iOS 9.0.2, you will effectively forfeit your untethered jailbreak and you'll just be locked out of jailbreaking until we receive another new utility to again jailbreak iOS 9. So if you want to wait and you want the new features in iOS 9, then update. If you don't want to wait and you're happy where you are on iOS 8.4 or earlier jailbroken, then stay where you are. And the number one way to avoid accidentally updating is to just be vigilant when plugging into your computer and connecting to iTunes because you will receive an update prompt inside of iTunes, you will not receive an OTA update because Apple blocks OTA updates on jailbroken devices. Now, number three, if you're on iOS 8.4.1, should you update? Because there has been talk of a new untethered jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1. See, Pengu actually publicized three new vulnerabilities that could be exploited to achieve an untethered jailbreak in conjunction with some added work on the developer's part. Because Pengu said, hey, we're not interested in jailbreaking 8.4.1, we're going to devote our efforts to iOS 9. Here are three vulnerabilities that do function on iOS 8.4.1. Well, there is one developer who states he is working on a new jailbreak for 8.4.1, likely using Pangu's exploits, but he's a relatively unknown developer. He hasn't released anything or he hasn't released a jailbreak in the past. So we really have nothing to go on as whether he will actually deliver, especially before a renowned team like Pangu or Taiji. So again, if you're on iOS 8.4.1 and you want to update to iOS 9, you can just know that there is talk of a new jailbreak for 8.4.1. However, I'll believe it when I see it. And you should adopt a similar attitude as well. But if you don't want to risk it, you can either stay on iOS 8.4.1, or if you have an iOS 8 compatible device, you can actually go back to iOS 8.4.1, because as of now, Apple is actually signing a few firmwares. So they're signing 8.4.1, 9.0, 9.0.1, and 9.0.2 as of recording this video, four firmwares 
hours. That's absolutely crazy. Apple hasn't done that pretty much ever. So they're still signing iOS 8.4.1, meaning you can actually downgrade back to the firmware from whichever version of iOS 9 you're on if you want to bank on the possibility of a new jailbreak for 8.4.1. I will actually have a link on your screens now via the cards as well as the annotations to my downgrade tutorial. You can actually follow that for any version of iOS 9 to go back to 8.4.1 as of recording this video. Again, that will change once Apple stops signing iOS 8.4.1. More details on that can be found in the video itself. So that's basically the long answer as to whether you should upgrade. Again, it does depend on you and your current situation. Now, iOS 9 has been jailbroken. and most of you already know this by now, I Hate Snow did successfully jailbreak iOS 9.0 GM untethered. However, there is one major caveat to this. It only functions on older 32-bit devices, meaning none of the devices from the iPhone 5S and up would work with this. And anyway, he's not planning on releasing it. He already stated that he has no intentions of issuing a jailbreak break from what he's discovered. It is a very low level exploit, meaning he was able to defeat all of iOS 9 security relatively easily. That basically means it's not similar to the user land based jailbreaks we're accustomed to like Taiji for iOS 8.4, which is actually harder to accomplish because I hate snow's exploit persists through various software updates as it's hardware based. The best news from I hate snow's accomplishment is just him confirming that internally iOS 9 is pretty similar to iOS iOS 8, meaning most of the packages and Cydia tweaks will function on iOS 9 pretty much out of the box. Now, let's quickly talk about developers who have intentions on releasing a jailbreak for iOS 9. There are three of them. Last year at this point, we had one. Pangu. This year, we also have Taiji, who not only released a jailbreak for iOS 8.1.x, but also iOS 8.3 through iOS 8.4. And we have Keen, who's a relatively new team on the jailbreak scene, but they do have former experience in hacking Apple's mobile software. And all three of those teams have remained incredibly silent before iOS 9's release date. However, Keen stated that they are interested in working with and collaborating with Pangu to create a new jailbreak and Taiji has also expressed openness and willingness to collaborate in the past with other developers so that's great news as like with years past and teams past all three of them currently are operating in stealth mode so to speak I've said this so many times throughout the years guys jailbreak developers will not give ETAs even when they're working on a new jailbreak utility they just don't they don't want to create a toxic attitude amongst jailbreakers because they undoubtedly would if they were to Announce anything. So in the past, real jailbreak developers for the most part have remained very silent when creating utilities. That's what's going on right now. And we already know that Pangu is at the bare minimum working on a new utility for iOS 9 because they effectively confirmed it when they issued those three vulnerabilities that I told you guys about previously. Also, interestingly enough, before Taiji dropped their jailbreak for 8.3 and 8.4, they stated that they were also devoting their time to iOS 9. So that was a while ago, but they are still working on another new utility. So keep that in mind and also remember that there is huge competition kind of between these teams, even though they are interested in working with one another because they are actually funded by third party Chinese companies with other monetary interests in jailbreaking. So they definitely do get paid for their work and it's a big deal. We are going to get a new jailbreak for iOS 9. And even though it does implement rootless or the rootless security measures, they're just that security measures measures and we can still achieve root access as I hate snow demonstrated. Now before we get into the wrap up for those of you interested in winning a brand new iPhone 6s it's very easy again just be sure to rate this video up and then navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile safari and sign up. It's so simple. Once you do you can download any of the sponsored apps that appear here in the main section and earn points for them. You can download one or multiple it doesn't matter and you can actually even use those points to redeem some awesome prizes including gift cards as well as paid apps from Apple's App Store. But what you need to do then is just navigate to the fourth tab and you see that unique portion of the link right there after the equals symbol. You need to take that and post it in the comment section of this video. I will have it linked for you guys in the cards as well as in the annotations on your screens now. And once you do that, you'll be automatically entered to win an iPhone 6s. As of now, we're not sure when the giveaway will conclude, but essentially we have to pay off the device using free apps fast, the sponsor for the giveaway. So so keep that in mind. And now let's get into the TLDW or too long didn't watch 
for this video. So the wrap up, essentially there's not a new jailbreak for iOS 9.0 through 9.0.2. So that includes three firmwares and there may be a perspective jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1 if you wanna go back from iOS 9. However, the developer who claims he's working on a new jailbreak is pretty unknown and it's uncertain at this point whether he will actually be able to deliver. But if you want, you can actually go back from iOS 9 right now as of recording this video to iOS 8.4.1 provided you have a device that is iOS 8 compatible. So something that's not an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, or an iPad mini 4. And we essentially have two teams on the scene who inadvertently confirmed that they are indeed working on a new jailbreak for iOS 9 and potentially a third. So the first two being Pangu and Taiji, as well as the third being Keen, who does have experience in hacking Apple's mobile software. So we are hopeful that we will receive a new jailbreak utility relatively soon. If we were to give an ETA or rather a time right now it would be after iOS 9.1 which won't take long to drop surprisingly because the Apple TV is set to be released next month in October and iOS 9.1 is one of the key components for setting up that device so we may receive iOS 9.1 as well as a new jailbreak sooner than expected just be sure to stay tuned I will keep you guys completely updated along the way if you have yet to subscribe click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name you will be completely notified and if you want to be updated even more often such as when I'm working on new videos similar to this one, or even videos covering things like the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.